Hello and welcome to episode 70 of my Working with Todoist series. In this episode, I want to show you what move to history means. And if we have a look at that, where you get to move to history is when you go to the three dots at the end of a task, you'll see you have a lot of options here, one of which is move to history. And a lot of people have asked in my videos about what does this actually do? Well, in a nutshell, this basically just completes the task for you. So on a non-recurring task like these ones here, it doesn't actually do anything more than what it would do just to click off that particular task. Move to history would do exactly the same thing. So if I click on that one, it moves to history. However, move to history has a very useful um, part to play when you have a recurring task. So looking at this one here, sketch out, sketch out ideas for presentation is a recurring task for every day from tomorrow. Now it doesn't actually have an end date and something like thinking about uh, a, a project, a task or, or whatever, you are, I, for, for me personally, I don't necessarily have an end date. I wouldn't like to put myself under pressure to think about something for five days or six days because my brain personally it doesn't work like that so when I've actually done my thinking for sketching out ideas for presentation what I can do instead of deleting the task and it not showing up in my in my history I can move it to history and what that does is it completes the task completely I it's not going to come back tomorrow or the day after because it is now finished and if you have a look in the um, in my completed task sketch out ideas for presentation is now in my uh, history now for those people who use history and to be fair I don't use it very often but sometimes I do just to see what I've actually achieved or done for that day um, I can actually have a look into that and see which tasks I have completed. Now, if I didn't do that and I just clicked on delete task, the task disappears, of course, but now when I look into my history, it's not there. It doesn't come up into my history. It's completely gone and I have no record of what I have actually completed. And that is basically what move to history does. It's great for those recurring tasks that you want a record of doing and you can then review your tasks. However, for those, if you're using the delete key, then you're not going to have a record of any of those tasks completing. So it's a much better option if, you, if you're one of those people who likes to keep a record of what you have done. Uh, it's there and you can see it in your history file. So there you go. That's what the move to history button does. It just completes the task, but not particularly useful for non-recurring tasks, but very useful for recurring tasks. I hope you found this episode useful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment in the section in the comment section below. And apart from that, I'm going to wish you all a very, very productive week. And for those of you in Korea, a very, very happy Chuseok holiday.